Hey guys, welcome back. This is David, and we're going to look at how to uh, make get and post requests with the Instagram API um, in this video. And so in the last video, we got our access token, which is this one right here. And we gave it the scope of public content and likes, and it came with the uh, scope of basic. And so we're going to make these uh, get and post requests with the with Postman. And in today's video, hopefully, it'll be clear the the I don't know the extent of which the sandbox mode can really take you, and uh, why it is not enough to really do much. Um, and so let's get to it. In the Instagram slash developers webpage, you'll see on the left side here endpoints, and this is pretty much it's like a cheat sheet on telling you how to pretty much get all the information you're looking for. And so uh, the most easy, the easiest things to get is pretty much these uh, things with basic content or basic scope, which is pretty much just uh, stuff about yourself and relationships. If you need to see like who's following who, media. Um, I think this is just getting uh, photo data, comments, likes, tags, and locations. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. If you need to, if you want to do that, go ahead and explore more. Hopefully, we'll after going over user and likes um, and tags, uh, it'll be enough for you to kind of understand uh, where to go from there. And so, why don't we start off by getting the simple one? If we look at the response, this is kind of what it's supposed to look like, and it's going to be a GET request, and we're going to be sending in this URL. And is calling user self and access token. We have to put in our access token. And so let's go ahead and try that and see what it looks like. So I copied and pasted, or I copied that and pasted it inside of um, Postman. And we need the access token. So I'm going to grab that from right up here. Cool. So if I look into params, access token is this. We're just going to change that. Uh, when I change the key and the or when I change the value of that key, it changed here too. And so we're gonna send it the get request, and we do get this back. And so this is pretty much what is on, what is in my profile. This is my information. Um, I have no bio written. This is my ID, like we discovered. It was the numbers right before the dot. Um, this is my full name that I have in my profile, and this is pretty much my. Um, Profile picture. When I click that, it opened a new tab in Postman, and it's a great get request to kind of get that photo. So there we go. That's my profile picture, and this is kind of website. I don't I don't know if that's in my description or something, but anyways, and that's my username right there. And so that that's the easiest one to to go for. Let's go for another one, and let's get. Um, Let's get, what is this? Information about the user, most recent media. Okay, let's go get the most recent media. That sounds pretty interesting. And so, it's another get request. Pretty simple. We'll do that. Just to grab the access token from right here. And this is all my most recent uh, photos. So if we look at, let's see, this is the data going here, users, user photos. Um, these are the hashtags that I use on this image. And so let's look at, no, let's not look at the thumbnail one. That's too small. Let's look at that one. And so that one, yep, that's my latest photo. And if we go over here to my profile tab, uh, we can definitely confirm that it was this photo over here. And if we, Move a little bit down. Let's look at what else they have given to us. Um, this photo looks very similar, but it's blue this time. Um, and that is definitely is this one right here with squigglies over here. All right. And so that, that's how you get the most recent. And once again, that was your most recent 20 photos. And you can, I believe you can, um, edit that to see, I mean, to get like less photos or, or uh, pretty much, I don't know, filter out how much how much you want. And I think there are different filters for doing that. And so it gave us only one. Um, but even if we did something like count 100, 
uh, it's only going to give us 20. Um, and so let's see. That's uh, 1,050 lines or 1,150 lines. Um, good way, let's ask for 50 photos and see if that is in half. Nope, it's the same. See how we asked for 50 photos, but they still, it's still that. That's pretty much how, my, how much lines of code uh, 20 photos takes. And so uh, we're only gonna get the most recent 20 photos of me, uh, despite what you ask it. And so uh, you might be thinking, okay, let's use this to get the photos of someone else. And so um, you might think you could do that, but actually in sandbox mode, you can't because, because it is sandbox mode. And um, let's let's use this for example. This is Kevin. He is the he's a CEO and co-founder of Instagram, and this is his ID. And I'm pretty sure it's still still valid. Uh, his profile is still there. But if we go over here, and if we pretty much paste that, if we copy and paste his ID. ID, there we go, and let's get the access token again. Um, ID, let's just paste it in there. Then we will get an error because Kevin didn't authorize this web app. But let's take our user ID and post it in there. We did authorize this web app, and so boom, you're gonna get you're gonna get a response. And so that that's one of the I think the first one of the places where Instagram really ties your hands down when you're in sandbox mode, you're secluded to your only your twenty photos, and so um, and we can see it here again. Um, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna think okay, uh, this will give you the get the list of most of recent media liked by the owner of the access token. So you're thinking okay. I'll get the last 20 pictures that I liked, but you won't. You only get the last 20 pictures of, you're only gonna get the last 20, which are the ones that you own. And so when I do this, look at this. We are gonna get this, uh, this image here that looks like this, it's like a dome. And if we go into my uh, Instagram here, that, th these three right here, these are the last ones that I liked or I didn't like any of these guys over here and I'll just show you a couple here um, didn't like it uh, these three I like them and so those three are the only ones that are showing up that one the the cello uh, camping ground one um, let's see this one was this hello world when I first created that whiteboard on my wall and uh, I think I missed one, unless I didn't like this photo. Nope, I didn't like it. And so, so these are the only ones. And um, to prove it, I guess I'll just go to my uh, feed and like a couple of photos. So I like that. I like this, and I like this. So, so just to show you, those three weren't the last ones I liked. Um, We'll ask for this again, and how about how about uh, going back real quick? Let let's like something. Let's like this Canada picture, and let's see if what will show up. So I just liked four photos, uh, three photos that don't belong to me, one that does, and let's see what shows up here. Let's see the Canada Pass one, uh, and we'll take a look at that right now. See that one shows up, but. The other ones don't. Uh, we got that one. We just got that one right now. And then over here, the visitor center one. This one, see? So despite what you're asking for, you're asking for the last 20 photos that you liked, but they're only giving you from your 20. So that's your pool. Pretty much that's your pool of photos. And so you can only... You can only work with that, your last 20. And so, um, just to make that, just to, well, I mean, I'm pretty sure you get the point. I was gonna show you, this was my 20th photo, this was my 21st, 
And despite liking or unliking it, it doesn't show up. And so I don't think you needed me to show you that. I think you get the point. And um, one other thing that we wanted to do, yeah, we, we wanted to take a look at posts. We'll look at some posts. And we'll look at some tags too, I guess. We'll look at posts first. We'll look at liking a photo so that um, if you want to move on, you could just end the video. But after we do likes, we'll go and look at some tags. Um, to f further emphasize the fact that these, this sandbox mode sucks. Or doesn't suck, it's just not much you can do with it until you get it approved. And so let's take a look at this. Um, once again, uh, we are only working with our last 20, our last 20, so let's go ahead and like some of our photos. And so any of these photos will do, uh, but we will not like it yet because we want to like it with the, with the post request. And so this one looks like we need the media ID. And so how are we going to get the media ID? How about we just go to our users and let's get the last 20 photos, uh, which was this right here. And I'm not sure if I already have that media liked. Um, so nope, we don't have that in yet. So let's copy and paste that. Cool. Um, user ID, we'll get it from the access token. There we go, cut that, cut that. Okay, cool. So these are my last, uh, most recent 20. I'm hoping that's my first one. Yep, that's gonna be my first photo. The one with, uh, you probably can't see it, it's a duffel bag, value one with all these lines. Try to remember it by that, I guess. Um, it is this one, it is this first photo. And the second one's probably gonna be the blue one. Uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll work with this one. And the media ID from here is going to be, um, that's my ID. Let's see, where the, where the heck is the media ID? ID, image ID. Okay, I believe that's the one. Yes. Data, that's the object right there. This line, and that's what's in here. And that's the next one. Okay, cool. So that is the ID right there. And so what we're going to do is we are going to we're going to go into the post and like it. We're going to like it with Postman. And so this one will set a like on this media by the current authenticated user, currently authenticated. And so we're going to take this right here. It's a post request. So we're going to go into Postman, paste that in there, change that to post, and media ID we will paste that right there media ID likes um, and we need the access token um, it says right here uh, I'm not sure what that is but we need access token so we will get that um, pretty much just like this pick that end bit right there and let me just show you what happens if you don't have it you're missing the you're missing the parameter so boom let's add that in there do that and this right here meta code uh, 2200 that means it was successful um, like how they show us right here they say boom that's what you're expecting and so um, right now it's unliked we didn't refresh the page though we're expecting the post request to have gone through and now when we look at it it's liked and uh, I think we can likewise unlike it so how about how about we do that and then we move on to tags Remove a like, okay, cool. And so, oh wait, no, it's down here. It's just delete, and it looks like it's almost the same thing. Um, API v1, media, media ID, likes, access, token, okay, cool. So, let's try that. Delete, send, that looks like it was successful. Refresh that page, and Boom. Unliked. Okay, cool. So that was that. Um, I know a lot of you are going to want to use the whole looking up hashtags. And so um, that was get and post request. And so we're going to do another get request, uh, which are tags. And so I guess if you if you get the idea, um, go ahead. Feel free to turn this video off now and look at the next one. Um, but we're just going to do tags as our last thing. And so... Let's see, let's just take a look at all of these. 
get uh, information about a tech object. And so I found this not to be too useful. Um, I thought it was kind of useless. Um, I guess, of course, you have everyone has their own uses. So let's go ahead and do one tag name. Let's call it REI access token. Okay, um, let's see, 405, let them not allowed. What did we do wrong? Tag name. No filter. Um, tag on for the day, let's see if that works. Uh, oh, I know, we're looking at HTML, why? Oh, we're, we're deleting, no wonder. Cool, there we go. And so we look at outfit of the day, uh, tag, we get, that's how much uh, photos we have. Despite that, know that when you're in sandbox mode, you cannot touch any of that. And so we'll go here. The second one was get a list of recently tagged media. Okay, so we'll check out what that looks like. Tag name. We'll stick with this one. This token. All right, and it looks like we cannot look at that. And that is weird because it says, get a list of recently tagged media. I know for sure that this, this hashtag is so popular that there is gonna be a recent one, but once again, we're limited to the last 20 that belong to us, last 20 photos that belong to us. So I know that I've used JavaScript, the JavaScript hashtag um, for the last few of my photos. And so if I look at that, then yes. And of course, there are going to be other photos that have been tagged with JavaScript um, more recent to now, because these were a couple days ago, maybe a week ago. And um, simply, we only have access to them. So that's why we're seeing it. And it doesn't matter. I know that I've used um, SF couple times but I'm only limited to the results of my last 20 and so even if it, it is your own um, it doesn't go beyond 20 and so let's take a look at the last one which is searching the tag we are expecting something that looks like this and search Q snowy um, access token Yep, and this is what we get. Um, a lot of results, but doesn't really help us out. Um, I mean, unless this does help you out, then <laughs> it does. But um, if you try to make a website that kind of displays photos with hashtags or photos of a person or photos of a person that gets tagged, um, you need a lot of access. Uh, you need a lot of authentication. Pretty much you need it to go live or else you can't really do much. Um, and so that was that was the this video was all about how to use the API and now in the next video we're going to learn or we're going to demonstrate okay here's a very simple way to get some of this stuff out um, out on a web page.